Hello friends, this is PHP Online Examination Tutorial Series, and in this part, you can find how user can enroll in exam by using PHP script with Ajax. In previous part, we have already seen, how to dynamically load or display particular exam details on web page, by using PHP script with Ajax. For enroll for online exam, we have go to index page, and here we have write dollar document selector with, on method, and under this we have right click event, with button ID enroll button, so when we user has click on enroll button, then this block of code will execute. Under this block, we have write exam ID variable is equal to, dollar with button ID enroll button, with data method, and under this we have write exam ID, it will fetch value from data attribute, and store under exam ID variable. Now we have start write Ajax request, with first option URL set to, user Ajax action .php, it will send request to this file. In second option, we have write method, and here we have to define which form data submit method, we have to use for send data using Ajax, so here we have use post method. In third option, we have write data, and here we have to define which data we want send to server, so here we have define action variable, with enroll exam as value, page variable with index as value, and exam ID variable value. In fourth option, we have write before send callback function, this function will be called before Ajax request has been sent. Under this, we have write dollar with button ID enroll button, with attribute method, and here we have write disabled, it will disable enroll button, for prevent double click. For change button text, we have write dollar with button ID enroll button, with text method, and under this we have write please wait, this text will be display on button. Now we have write success callback function, this function will called if Ajax request completed successfully. Under this function, we have write dollar with button ID enroll button, with attribute method, and under this method we have set disabled property false, so it will enable enroll button. After this, we have write dollar with button ID enroll button, with remove class method, and under this we have write button warning, this code will remove this class, from this button. Same way we want to add button success class, so here we have write dollar with button id enroll button, with add class method, and under this we have write button success class. After this, we want to change enroll button text, so here we have write dollar with button id enroll button, with text method, and under this we have write enroll success, so this text will be display on button. So, here jQuery code is ready, and now for PHP code, we have go to user ajax action .php file, and here we have write, if statement and under condition, we have write dollar posts action variable value is equal to enroll exam. If this condition true, then it will execute if block of code, 
and here we have write dollar exam object with data variable is equal to array in array first key we have write double colon user id and in value we have write dollar session user id variable in array second key we have write double colon exam id and in value we have write dollar post exam id variable now we have write dollar exam object with query variable is equal to insert into user exam enroll table with two column like user id and exam id with values like double colon user id and double colon exam id this insert query will insert user exam enroll data in user exam enroll table and now for execute this query we have write dollar exam object with execute query method this method will execute insert query and save data in database now we want to store this user exam question answer data in database for this we have write dollar exam object with query variable is equal to select question id from question table where online exam id is equal to dollar post exam id variable This select query will select question details of enroll exam. So for this we have write dollar result variable is equal to dollar exam object with query result method. It will execute above query and return query execution result. Now for fetch data from this dollar result variable, we have write for each loop with condition like dollar result variable as dollar row variable under this loop we have write dollar exam object with data variable is equal to array in array first key we have write double colon user id and value we have write dollar session user id variable in array second key we have write double colon exam id and in value we have write dollar post exam id variable in array third key we have write double colon question id and in value we have write dollar row question id variable In array fourth key, we have write double colon user answer option, and in value we have write zero. And in last key, we have write double colon marks, and in value we have write zero, so this way we have store user question, and answer data has been stored in this array, for set up user exam now we have write dollar exam object with query variable is equal to insert into user exam question answer table with table column like user id exam id question id user answer option and marks with values like double colon user id exam id question id user answer option and marks this insert will set up user enroll data in this online examination system now we want to execute this query so we have write dollar exam object with execute query method it will execute above query so here our code is ready now we have check output in browser Friends, 
first we have refresh web page, after refresh of web page, here we can see schedule exam list in this select box, so we have select this exam. After select this exam, we can see exam details below this select box, with enroll button, user can enroll exam by click on this button. So, we have click on this button, after click on button, here we have can success message on button, that means we have enroll for this exam. Now again we have refresh page, and select same exam, then that exam details has been load on web page, but this time on button we can see you already enroll it, that means user can enroll in exam for one time only. So, in this part, we have covered how user can enroll exam, in next part we will discuss how to list user enroll exam list, so user can see history of enroll exam details. If you have any query or input regarding this video tutorial, please comment your query or input in comment box, or if you like this video tutorial please share with your friends, or even you can also share on social media also.